Hi, welcome to What's Up with DJ Now. Today we're making copycat peppermint mocha creamer. Stay tuned. Okay, we're, here's the ingredients that I will be using. Um, they will also be linked into the video description with the measurements. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I've um, microwaved 10 ounces of the milk and you only want to do that for maybe uh, one and a half minutes, just enough to warm it up slightly. And that's because when we're putting the cocoa in here, we want to be able to make it easily dissolve. And that does that better when it's in warm liquid. So that's why you go ahead and warm 10 ounces of the 14 ounces. You're going to use 14 ounces of milk total, but we're just going to heat up 10 ounces of it so that we can get this um, cocoa incorporated and dissolved in there well. So go ahead and add in the three tablespoons. Grab yourself a nice whisk, and we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, whisk very well. And like I said, we just wanna make sure and break up that cocoa and get it nicely dissolved inside. This peppermint mocha is a, a coffee mate copycat version and let me tell you it tastes just like it and it's so good and you can whip it up easily yourself make it when you want to sometimes that um, creamer is hard to get when it's off season so this way you can make it up anytime you want any <clears throat> excuse me any time of the year and you're just going to use your old coffee uh, creamer containers they work perfectly well now we're going to go ahead and pour this in to the container oops try not to get it everywhere and it's only going to be slightly warm because you didn't heat it up that long only for about a minute and a half you don't want to overheat up the milk just a minute and a half will do some of the little bits of chocolate still will look like it's not completely mixed up but it, it no worries we'll take care of that with the next stuff that we're putting in there okay so now you're going to want to put in the remaining four ounces of the cold milk and then we're going to put in one can of 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk whatever brand that you choose to use is fine Now because you're using the sweetened condensed milk, there's really no need to add any kind of sugar. And you're going to find that this creamer will be so good that you may not even add sugar in your coffee at all. I don't. The creamer uh, makes up plenty for the sweetness of the coffee, so you don't have to really add any sugar. Make sure and get all of that out. And the next thing is going to be the peppermint extract and we're going to put in one teaspoon. Any brand that you use is fine, but just do a teaspoon. Peppermint is strong, so you really don't need much. Well, like I said, this is fun and easy to do because then you can have your peppermint mocha creamer year round. You don't need to wait for the Christmas holiday time, which is when it traditionally comes out in the stores. So this way you can go ahead and make it when you choose to. Now get your whisk and it's going to be thick because of that sweetened condensed milk and you're just going to want to whisk it well 
Sounds like I'm Elmer Fudd when I try and say that. So whisk it well <laughs> and, until it's nice and smooth and it won't feel as thick because you're mixing in with the milk. So get it to a nice consistency. Now we're going to get our container that had the other portion in there. And then we're going to go ahead and pour in the rest. containers work well. I usually have two or three different ones in my fridge with different cream or blends in them, homemade ones. That way I can pick whatever one I want each day. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the lid on. Make sure it's tight. And then we're just going to shake it up and mix it up well. That'll help break up any of the little chocolate bits that didn't get broken up. Each day you use it, you're going to want to shake it up well, you know, just like you would any other creamer. At least I do anyways. But this is a really good creamer. I'm going to link it in the description of the video. I also will have my social media and my Facebook group in my uh, description and you can use this in hot coffees, cold brews, any any way that you have your coffee. So thank you for watching. Here's a cold brew I made with whipped cream and chocolate syrup on top. It was delicious. Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel. I would appreciate it and you all have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.